Hello, welcome to my channel. Here's Oliver. Nice to see you again. And today about another topic, the one thing that almost made me lose an amazing, amazing opportunity, which is my job. And I tell you why. Okay. So the reason why I almost lost my job, this is the one thing, the one thing that almost destroyed everything. I'm here in my job, an amazing opportunity, working with great, successful people, learning a ton of stuff about personal growth, about business. I never learned so much in my whole life. And I also could implement my, my knowledge that I got from here. For example, selling my paintings. This is one of my paintings. And uh, made made a good amount of money with my paintings. Never before did any money. Always struggled with money. So I learned a ton of stuff. Also my from personally, my personal development. I'm also helping now the other people. And it's all, all because I'm here. Because I, I learned a ton of stuff and I'm still learning. So in the, there was one thing that almost made me lose this opportunity. And this one thing, you know, you want to know? Guess. Write down by the by the chat what you think it is. What would you say is the one thing that made me almost lose an, an amazing opportunity? Come, what do you think? Okay, I tell you. It was complaining. Complaining, yes. We, it goes so fast. And we are so used to complain about all kinds of stuff. And it happens to me still. And it happens to my girlfriend still. And we are constantly talking about it and always you know, reminding each other that we don't want to complain because complaining is poison. It's poisonous for your mind. It's poisonous for your brain and you get more of what you focus on. So if you focus on what you don't like, what's not good enough, you create more of that. And it's exactly what happened to me. So it was actually quite brutal because I complained so much and I really believed it. It was painful. I really started to feel bad. I felt like... I'm judged by others, but I actually I judge myself, right, with this complaining. And I felt like uh, my life is not good enough, I should be there, blah, 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 and this and that. And of course, this is uh, energy that you also feel, right? If you complain all the time, how would you feel? How do you feel if you complain a, a day long or just a few minutes? How do you feel after complaining? You mostly feel like crap, you feel bad, you feel low energy, you feel... You just don't feel good because you feel like it, something is not right. Something should change or whatever. So that made me almost lose my job. So never, never, never complain. And again, it's for me, it's not about the job. For me, it's this great opportunity. Because not, not every job is great, right? You can Normally, if I would lose a job, I don't care because most jobs that I had weren't, weren't great. But this is really a great opportunity. And if you start to go in the complaining mode, mode and you don't even realize it, you maybe lose a great opportunity. You lose great people and you don't even realize because you were in this mode of complaining, which has more to do with you than with the other person or the other others, you know, or the job or whatever. So it has more to do with you, the complaining. So when I realized that, it took me some time and we had deep discussions and intense discussions and after that I realized what I actually did and I really started to focus on what I don't like what I don't have and that happens to me often it happens to all of us and this is also where you need to find the balance between having a vision having dreams having goals and also being in the moment and the way it works is to you you have your vision you have your goals you have your dreams but in the moment now you you, you need to think about those dreams and goals on, on one specific moment, right? You do that consciously. So you sit and meditate and you think about them, you visualize, for example, or you write them down or you have a dream book or whatever, and you, you consciously think about them and it makes you feel good. It makes, yes, feels great. I know where I'm going. But the rest of the day, you don't think always about your dreams, right? You're, you're busy, you need to do something, you're working, and um, yeah, you need to be focused on something, right? So in this moment, you're focused on the now, and whenever you are basically thinking, you fill your mind not with negative stuff, with complaining, with what's not good enough, what you don't have, you fill your mind with gratitude, you fill your mind with what you have, you fill your mind with all the successes you achieved, you fill, you fill your life, your mind with 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 the things that make you proud about yourself and especially gratitude i would say gratitude is one of the biggest things ever you can do for yourself and for for everything so you have your big visions and dreams and goals and then the rest of the time you fill your mind with gratitude with things you 
you're grateful for, what you already achieved, what you have, what's great in your life. And then you attract more of that, 100%. This is how it really works. And it doesn't work like you have your dreams and then you look at your life and you're, fuck, it's really not like I dream about, it's really not like I want, I want this and want more money, I want that. And all of my life is actually fucked up. So I want, I want my dream, I want that it comes true now and, and I need to make it happen. This is the... This is more the resistance of your, you get resistance of your life right now. And this is never how creation works. You don't create something with resistance. You create by accepting your reality now and still thriving for something more. But you accept your reality now. You're grateful for what you have because there are always things you can be grateful for. Grateful for. And energy creation works like that. You, you tap into, you tap into an energy and then you, attract more of the same energy it doesn't work like the ego you know the mind it doesn't work like you think i i don't have enough and i need now this i need a better life and i need more money this this is not how it works because your energy is negative you think about what you want but what you actually do is thinking about what you don't want so your energy is negative and you attract more of the same energy same attracts same right so you need to be in a positive in a appreciation in gratitude in what you have in your successes and the more you feel f about the more you feel those things also the more you think feel and think you're successful and you're amazing and the more you prove it to yourself the more opportunities come into your life where you really can prove it that you're amazing that you're successful that you're strong that you can do it you know so you attract more of what you think about and feel about yourself in life so this is really how it works and complaining destroys that totally it's one of the worst things you can do for yourself, for others, for, 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 for the whole life. So I think this video was is now enough. Seven minutes. It was really fun now to make this video. I hope you like this video. Write down in the comments below what you think about this video, about this topic. I would love to speak more about it because those are, yeah, basically this is the thing that I learned the most or where I keep learning. It's basically this, this the law of attraction in a deeper sense. Because I worked with it already, I started working with it when I watched Secret five years ago, yeah, five years ago. And I never really understood how it works and I, I did it like most people would do it, right? Thinking about what I don't have and if I think about what I want, I actually think immediately about what I don't want. So I, I produce negative feelings thinking about my dreams and goals. So it was really, it's really something I'm, I'm still working on. It's very, very interesting. It's very... Um, it's very, yeah, it's very fascinating for me to work on this topic because the more you get it, the more it really starts to work and the more you see results because the law of attraction is a law, it just works. But you don't need to focus on does the law of, law of attraction works or not. You need to focus on what can I change? How can I make it better? How can I get the results I want to have? So really focus on yourself and reflect. And that's what I did the past years. And I, I, I learn more and more and grow more. And I think I start to really get it and also one thing that helped me to realize the law of attraction that it really works is that self responsibility that i have 100% respond i'm 100% responsible for my life and complaining is not taking the responsibility because if you complain you create a, a negative outcome for your life and for yourself and for others so it's definitely not taking self responsibility about your life and that's why actually going through this complaining phase again really helped me to see again wow actually I created a very negative outcome for myself and that's not what I want to live right so I needed to take the self the, the responsibility for my life 100% responsibility and also make sure that I'm in my power that I feel strong and that I feel good and this way I also can attract more amazing things this way I can make more money this way I can really create the life I want to that I want to live um, it happens step by step. It's like a, like you, you put a seed into the ground. It takes time. It takes time until gr it grows, right? So this is the same with your thoughts and feelings. It takes time. It takes practice. It doesn't work like you have a positive thought and you feel good one day and the rest of it you feel bad again. Like the the, the rest twenty nine days you feel bad or even the year whatever. So it's really it's practice to be in a good space to feel strong to be to be in, in, in your inner power and and this is this is a journey this is for everybody else how you can do that um yeah i did it for my 
for myself, for example, morning routine, running in the morning, cold shower. Those are things. Reading 20 minutes, drinking a bullet, bulletproof coffee, things like that help me to really start my day fired up and to feel strong and powerful. But also diff other stuff, you know. There's small things you do daily that make you feel either good or not good. And you need to focus on feeling better and better and better. So I think that's it. Because I want to wrap it up with better, better. If you feel better and better, you attract better stuff into your life. And of course, you don't feel always good. It's the 80-20 rule. So 80% you should feel good about your life and yourself. 20% you can also feel bad. Okay? Because nobody's perfect. Life is not perfect. You are not perfect. You, you won't be perfect ever. So yeah, 80-20 rule. Very important. But for me, it was like when I started out with personal growth, I was like 80% feeling sad, depressed, down, and 20% I felt good. So that was super annoying. And sometimes just like out of nothing, I felt good. And I felt like, yeah, now I got it. And then again, one day later, I felt bad. And, you know, so I worked on this a lot and I'm still working on it. And I love this topic. Let me know what you think about it. Give me some feedback. Yeah, just write your thoughts down below. What do you feel? Where are you at the moment? Are you in a complaining mode? Do you want to change it? Do you need help? Uh, yeah. What did you attract in your life recently? Did you attract something amazing? For me, I, for example, I just attracted a customer that wanted to have a custom-made painting for 3200 which is now my highest price. I attracted to work with a company where we sell my paintings now for five figures. So I attract amazing stuff. It's, it's, it's happening, guys. It's exciting. And that's because I'm in a positive state. Because in the complaining mo mode, when I was in this state, believe me, I didn't really attract anything. Really, not. <laughs> I just attract negative things and outcomes. So, remember to focus on things that empower you, not stop complaining. Because that's the one thing that almost cost me my job, my opportunities, my friends, my relationship. Yeah, my relationship with, with myself as well. So, really, don't complain. It's not worth it. You are responsible for your happiness. So, take the responsibility and be conscious with what you think speak and what you do it's really really important so complaining is a choice if you complain you made the choice to complain so that means you don't really take responsibility or you're not conscious of it but now you're conscious of it because i just told you so stop complaining take the responsibility and do things that really move you forward and that empower you with that said i wish you an amazing day amazing evening wherever you are are and thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like that I love you guys and see you on the next video. <laughs>